are many things that can define a man and many things that make up a man. Success, you know, their drive, how resilient they are. But I think that the true thing that makes up a man is his ability to walk into a family that's not his and accept everyone in that family as his own. And Travis has definitely done that for me, my sister, and my mom. Chrissy, I had a really cool experience today. I've been praying about what to say in this moment. And I want to prophesy over your marriage and over your life. Chrissy, I want you to know that God says that even though you feel like that maybe you were in the valley and that you the prayers that you prayed were not being heard. He says he heard every one of them. So I'm here to tell you what the enemy meant for evil. The Lord's going to turn around for good starting this day. I'm sure that it isn't so easy seeing your mom take this new step to being married. So I want to make you some promises to the two I promise to always love you both, no matter what. I may push you to learn things on your own and learn independence but I will always have your best interests at heart. I promise to always provide a really home that we will fill with love, kindness, and laughter. And most importantly, I promise to you both that I will give this marriage with your mom and everything that I have to Travis, you're a leader. And that doesn't come by accident. That's a gift that the Holy Spirit, that the Lord Himself has put in you. You figured out how to rise above adversity. The Lord says this, that if you'll put Him first in this marriage, God's gonna do something through this marriage. You guys are gonna impact this community, if not this region. Say I, Travis. I, Travis. Take you, Chrissy. Take you, Chrissy. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. Richer or poorer. And I promise my love. And I promise my love. To you forevermore. Forevermore. I, Chrissy. I, Chrissy. Take you, Travis. Take you, Travis. To be my husband. To have, and to, hold, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, and in health. for richer or poor, richer or poor. And, I and I promise my love to you forevermore. In so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, you've promised your love to each other by these vows, you've given the rings, you've joined the hands, you've done so in the sight of all these witnesses and the Holy Spirit, I now declare you to be husband and wife. But I know Travis, like you make this right your bride. Every day, and I just can't bring myself to give up right now. Not this way, cause I love you and I wanna hold you when we're old and gray. Oh, but love like this don't come around, don't come around every day. I did. I knew he was the one for her. He's always taking care of her. He fit in with all of us. I love you, Travis. I love you, Chrissy. And thank you for treating me like so you're at. And thank you for treating me, for teaching me to be a mom as well. I love you. Because this is what I choose. I knew he was going to be wild from the start whenever me meeting him consisted of us driving four-wheelers all over a mountain, me getting stuck, him throwing me off of it, and then asking for a dip of Copenhagen. Since then, now he's a guy, every time I walk by a corner, he smacks me on the butt and says, good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. day, and I just can't bring myself to give up right now.
When those times of challenge come, I want you to be able to go back to the first time that you looked into each other's eyes. I want you to be able to go back and I want you to recall the first time that you held hands. I want you to be able to go back and recall how you feel at this very moment. Not this way, cause I love